Welcome back to the show. Well, it's one of the greatest legal scandals Australia has ever seen. Nicola Gobbo, also known as Lawyer X, was the youngest female barrister in Victorian history who informed the police on the very gangland criminals she was defending. Now a new drama on Nine tells the story of her dangerous double life. They don't see you coming, do they? Who doesn't? Everyone. How can they not see this? <laughs> you distract them with that. The hair. Just like I distract them with a slouch pack. Untied runners, tracky dacks. Just enough <laughs> bit in KFC. Crumbs down me chest and a little bit of dribble. No reason to worry about Carl. We're a lot alike, you and me. I'm nothing like you, mate. Feel the tension, can't you? It's caught in former 3838 and the stars of the show, Guyton Grantley and Ella boy, Scott boy. Lynch, join us now. Good morning, guys. So good to see you both. Good morning. morning. Ella, nice to be here. what a role. I mean, you were front and centre of this series as Nicola Gobbo. How much did you know about these events beforehand? Yeah, it was an incredible opportunity. I was following the, the story in the media a little bit beforehand and when I got the role, I obviously kind of did a lot of research, um, but I was a, consider myself a bit of an armchair detective too, so I'm, I've been fascinated by the Melbourne gangland stories for a long time and, yeah, not until I really got the role did I find out how much of an impact this was going to have and how explosive the story was going to be. This is a great story. This is great TV, and you are brilliant in it, uh, can I say. Thank you. Um, also, Guyton, um, you first played... Well, you played Carl Williams better than Carl Williams. Um, <laughs> you're stepping back into his shoes. So what's it like? Uh, it's, it's familiar. It's, yeah. uh, I've been saying this a lot. It's like putting on an old pair of underwear, that, that pair with the holes in it and the... The, the elastic's gone, but you just can't bear to throw them out. They just, they mean so much to you. I put them on, it still feels really familiar and just, like, good. <laughs> because I know it was quite a physical transformation for you, Guyton. We hear you actually had to put on a few extra kilos. I did. Mm. Uh, what's actually embarrassing, though, is that in 2007, when we first did Underbelly, I was a lot younger... And it was probably about 82 kilos, and I put on about 16 or so to get up to where I needed to be. And this time round, I'm a 39-year-old with a dad body, and I jumped on the scales, and I was already 90. So I, I didn't have far to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's what I've done to play the Carl of 2005. <laughs> um, hey, Ella, this is such a sensitive, mm. sensitive case with a lot of legal parameters. But did that add to the pressure of all this? And how, how did you mentally prepare for all of that? Well, I think we, we really had to remember from when we started, you know, rehearsing it that we're not making a documentary. This is mm. our sort of interpretation of a story. And... Mm. I think if you get too bogged down thinking that you're playing a real character and that a real person might watch it one day, you could just get, you know, stuck and paralysed in fear. So I just sort of approached it like I would a fictional character, you know, and I worked with the, you know, beautiful costume designer and makeup artists and we all came up with the sort of look that we thought would work and, and then once you've done all the homework, you sort of try to forget all the mental prep and just play with people like Guyton on the day and that's the sort of most fun part of the job, I think. Well, I mean, Guyton, we just can't seem to get enough of Melbourne's underworld and the gangland wars. Why do you think, why do you think we're so fascinated by it? Oh, well, especially for Victorians, is because these people lived amongst us. That they, they, they were celebrities in their own right, especially mm. the Ten Year War. They, every, everybody knew about these people on the front page of the, the doorstep every day, and their kids went to school with these people's kids. And you know, they, everyone in this town has a story. Mm. You know, my my mate used to drink with this guy at this pub. It's, it, it's a very domestic kind of story that everyone can relate to. And now that this new information's come up, it's just, we've literally had to rewrite the script. So it's just, we get to do it all over again. Ella, Ella she's a fascinating character to play, I'm sure. Um, uh, full of um, really interesting personality quirks as well. It must have been mm. quite the role for you. Yeah, it absolutely was. Mm. And, you know, I think, like, like Guidi said, I think people are really fascinated by um, imperfect kind of characters. You know, mm. I think um, 
the the interesting thing about um, Australians sort of engaging with this sort of true crime stories and things is that we we are interested in anti-authority figures and you know it's not as interesting to watch someone do everything well it's more interesting to watch people sort of make mistakes and mm. um, yeah try to survive and I think that's what this story shows. Well I got sent a sneaky preview over the weekend what? and I couldn't I watched the whole thing it's it is gripping. It is such good telly, and you guys are both extraordinary in it. So, uh, good luck. Hope it rates Thank well. You. It's on tonight at 8 45 pm Australian <laughs> Eastern timing. Standard yeah. Time on nine. What about Guyton? He goes from Carl Williams to Harry Potter, and Harry Potter to the guy Williams. Well, Seamlessly, versatile. too, I might Seamlessly. Seamlessly. <laughs> what an interesting guy to have a beer with on a Friday night. <laughs> Do you think he's channeling Harry right now, or Carl? Yeah. Was, so it Harry. was Ron Weasley. It was Ron Weasley, and, and they both are very fond of food, so it wasn't too hard. I know. <laughs>